Hey everybody, Dave here again. As we work through our list of power FX functions, we find our way on the confirm function. And this one is a little unique. I need you to take note of the purple box. And it says at this time that the confirm function is only available when writing power FX commands for model driven apps. So let's diverge from our typical canvas app and let's show you how to use or how you might use this function inside of a model driven app. Uh, model driven apps is not something I do terribly a lot. It's not that uh, I don't know how to use them or do them. I'm not as comfortable with them as I am the Canvas apps, as well as I seem to not find myself in situations to use them because of the inability to customize it truly the way that I want. Although, yes, you can integrate the two together and have the two worlds combined, but I'm like, if I'm going to do that, why not just stay in a Canvas app? So, in any event, that's my thinking and logic. I think a lot of you guys share the same way, although there are some of you that absolutely are on the other side of the fence. You gravitate more towards uh, these model-driven apps than you do a Canvas app. All right, so let me just go back to apps here. Uh, new app, uh, start with a page design. Let's do page navigation blank. We'll just call this MDA for model driven app. And hopefully that will go smoothly. Doo -doo. Now we just wait for paint to dry as usual. That's another reason I don't particularly care for model driven apps. Okay, we now have a model driven app page. Life is good. We add a page. Let's do a dataverse table. Let's pick on our contact table that has some data in it. Okay, now here's where it becomes interesting. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. Uh, so, the way that the confirm option works, it's essentially a modal pop-up dialog box layover that says, hey, do you want to confirm this action? And you decide the context of what that might be. So I'm going to show you one example of this where we're going to go into, say, for example, this uh, context view. I'm going to click on this ellipsis. And do you see where this says edit command bar? I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I should have published when I saved. And that is going to get me into the context view, but it's also going to get me into the menu system. And what I want to do is edit the navigational or edit the button commands within the main form. So this is when I've selected a record, I drilled into the record, I'm editing the record. Normally you would expect a save button. I'm going to go ahead and choose main form, hit edit, and now we get a bunch of these buttons, which is the buttons that's that you see when, when you're in there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create a, a brand new button. So let's go up here to new, new command, uh, power FX, because this is what the series is about, right? So we're going to use the new power FX, we don't have the right JavaScript, and hit continue and now we're gonna to have to give the button a name and an icon and we're gonna write some power FX code for this particular button if we can ever get this thing to load so hopefully this continues my reasoning <laughs> for not having to play with this all right but rather than having a delete button, let's just call it remove and let's use an icon and icon, I, what is it called? I forget what it's called, clear, yeah, that's it. So here's our button over here. And if we come down here, everything else looks good. All right, now power FX command says true. Well, that's wonderful but that's not what we want. I am gonna pull up Notepad++ here, and I'm going to share some code with you guys. Okay, so I've written this or pre-written this in advance because 
the way that this works is I'm not going to be able to open this up like I normally do on screen and show you. It's just going to get jammed up inside uh, this little tiny box. And there's a little area, but not much. Uh, anyway, so we always start off with a, an if function, okay? And the if function needs to have some sort of logic that evaluates to true or false. So the confirm command gives us that returned value of yes or no. And so the way that it works, if we look at all of the code from here to here, that's really the meat and the potatoes about this particular video. It's asking me, well, first you have to give the command confirm, which is the function, put it in parentheses, and it's going to take in two main parameters. The first one is the, the, the syntax of, hey, do you really want to delete this. I think the official word here is, let's see, this is title, subtitle, message. This is what they're calling it. They're calling it message. And this right here is my message. Do you really want to delete this record? Okay. If we go back to the documentation, optional record. Okay, that's key. And then these four items are within the options record set. Okay, so that should make sense. You should know or fe at least feel comfortable knowing that anything in these mustache, curly braces, anything inside of here, these key value pairs is essentially JSON, but not really because real JSON has quotes around this as well like that and PowerFX doesn't use it when you're doing records. But in any event, it's still key valued pair and it's a title, a subtitle, and then you can you know your buttons this is that boolean choice think of this as true or false and that's what is going to get fed or returned back into based on whatever the user selects as your true and your false statement and so if it's true then we're just simply writing normal regular other expressions and we're notifying if they cancel we're basically removing the item uh, from here I should also like put a navigate function in here to navigate away, but in any event, this, this is good enough to at least illustrate what it is that we want to do. So I'm going to pop this command in here, use the drop down. Like I said, see, there's not a whole lot of room. We got to scroll, make sure that all of that looks good. And it does. So I'm going to hit save and publish. And when that saves and publishes, we're going to be out. And one of the nice things is we'll be able to at least show you this. Now, keep in mind, I didn't write that navigate piece of it. So we may not get to see that. All right. So for good measure, because it's model driven apps, I'm going to do a control F5 on my keyboard just to avoid any static stuff that's hung around and, and didn't want to play around. Say a newer version of the app is available. Please press refresh update. I've done that already. Let's do it again. Okay. There we go. Looks like it's published through. And you got to be careful too because your model driven apps have these thin, thin, razor thin notification windows. Whereas in a model driven app, it's way bigger, way more colorful, way more in your user's face. As a developer, half the time, I don't even notice these notifications in the model-driven apps just because I'm kind of so used to what I'm seeing in a Canvas app. All right, so I am in my app. I'm in my record. I'm going to go into Abe McDonald here, and here is my new remove function, and I'm going to press it, and I should get a modal window, and here's my modal window. OK and cancel. Uh, please confirm this action. I've got the confirmation box, which is the title, and then the main message that was the main piece of it, right? So these buttons and this and these two items right here, this is the parts that's in the optional record. Okay, I'm going to choose cancel just so that I can show you the notification. Again, remember, it's razor thin, so keep, keep your eyes peeled or you're going to miss it. All right, there it is. See, you've canceled this operation, okay? And... So I'm going to hit close. Let's hit remove. And let's this time, let's choose OK. Now, because I didn't do the navigate, I want you to see what happens. OK. So a McDonald is now technically truly gone. But because I didn't 
uh, do anything like refresh or, or get whatever um, it appears as if the buttons broken so you need to keep that in mind you need to put a couple of commands and so here in the command uh, over here where after the removal you'll want to put a semicolon and do your navigate you know that kind of stuff here so just keep that in mind otherwise you get this weird wonky behavior and it's not the power apps fault it's your fault for not finishing that up so anyway I wanted to leave that in there to show that experience but anyway you notice that the record is truly in fact gone so this is how you use the da, 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 confirm function <laughs> sorry kind of lost where I was uh, that's where you use the confirm function inside of a model driven app only and maybe one day I don't see that it's it would be useful because we do have the notification button and you can do all kinds of modal boxes and stuff pixel perfect uh, stuff in canvas apps so I don't think it'll ever be coming to canvas apps but who knows maybe it will one day um, be a nice little component or something to have so that's it for this video guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye